Have you reached a point where the drinking is out of control? You know that removing alcohol will benefit your life tremendously. You know that you'll lose those extra pounds, you'll feel a lot better, your, your energy will be better, you'll be playing with your kids, having better relationships. If you know that many great things will happen in your life as a result of not drinking alcohol, you need to watch this video because today I'm gonna to be explaining the five secrets of quitting alcohol once and for all, that doesn't rely on Alcoholics Anonymous, it doesn't rely on using willpower, it doesn't rely on using therapy. I'm gonna break down some of the secrets that if you get your head around this stuff, the decision to not drink is gonna be simple. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna feel effortless, right? Because that's what I want for you. Who exactly am I? So my name is Leon Sylvester. I run a company called SoberClear and we help business owners and professionals get control of their drinking. Now, I've worked with hundreds of people at this point, made 400 YouTube videos, helped like, I think there's almost 5 million people that have viewed this channel now. And really, the five secrets that I'm gonna teach you today in this video, this is the creme de la creme. This is just like, the best content that you'll ever hear. And by the end of this video, I'll actually explain how you can work with me. So if you wanna like, you know, work together on getting the drinking problem solved, I'll talk about that at the end of the video, but let's get into it. The very first thing that you've gotta understand is that you are not to blame for this problem. Listen, when I was drinking, right? Cause I drank for about a decade. Every time that I failed to stop drinking, but right, let's say I made a decision to not drink, I relapsed, I blame myself. I blame myself every single time. And you know what that did? Every time I blame myself, I felt worse. I felt worse and worse and worse. Every single time that I drank and blamed myself, my self-esteem went lower. My self-confidence went lower. How many times have you done that? How many times have you had a drink and blamed yourself? Because if you're anything like me, it's, it's just countless times. But I'm telling you that you are not to blame for this problem, right? This is not your fault. I want you to take all the blame off yourself, right? This is not your fault. There's something else that's going on here. Humor me, just follow me. This, you'll understand in a minute. But you are not to blame for this problem. We will get back to this later on in the video. But if you're not to blame, then what is to blame? Well, I'll tell you what's to blame. The conditioning is what's to blame. Now, what do, what, what do I mean by this? Well, we have been conditioned through media, through advertisements, through movies, through news sites, a lot of things. We have been conditioned to see alcohol as a good thing. This has been happening from day one of being born. Every single person on the planet, bar, I guess the people that watch my YouTube channel or watch other channels like mine, the world is brought into an illusion that alcohol is a beneficial thing, right? Drinking ethanol is good for you. What do you think happens if you've been told this from day one of being born? Of course you're gonna want to drink, right? Of course you're not gonna want to stop drinking. Of course you're gonna think that getting rid of alcohol is gonna be a bad thing because you've been conditioned. Right now, I've made videos talking about this in more depth on the channel previously, but you are not to blame for this problem, right? If you get your head around this, then you're able to start addressing the root cause of the problem, which isn't you, by the way. It's definitely not you. You are not the problem here. This idea that we've bought into is the problem, right? The drug is the problem. The conditioning is the problem, not you. So please take all blame off yourself. This is not your fault. Now, if this is true, then like, so what? Like, you're probably thinking like, Leon, yeah, right, great. I'm not to blame. There's a lot of conditioning, obviously. So what do we do from this point? Well, what I teach and what I help people do is apply something called first principles thinking. So first principles thinking. So this is what should be used to overcome false beliefs. Because what has happened is through the conditioning, through this idea that alcohol is beneficial, we have developed beliefs. We have developed beliefs around alcohol that do not help us, right? We have bought into these ideas that it helps, that it gets us through the hard times, that it helps us escape, that it helps us deal with problems, it helps us manage emotions. We have these false beliefs because alcohol doesn't help you in any way whatsoever. It does nothing for you at all. Now, what I teach and what I've been teaching on this channel and I've been teaching for the past few years is something called first principles thinking, which is basically ignoring the conditioning. It's ignoring common sense. It's ignoring other people and breaking down the problem into its component parts. And what this means is literally like you could do this right now, right? You can get a pen and paper and write, start writing down your beliefs around alcohol. Maybe you think that alcohol helps you relax after a hard day of work, write it down, right? Maybe you believe that your life will be worse off as a result of not drinking. Maybe you think that it's gonna be more difficult to deal with stress without alcohol in your life. And what you do with first principles thinking is you break down all of the component parts of the problem and 99 times out of 100, it comes down to beliefs. An alcohol problem is a belief problem, right? It's not a skill problem. It's not like a character defect. It's a belief problem. And if you're able to overcome those beliefs by writing them down and studying each one of them, that's when it clicks. That's when you're able to just say, wait a flipping minute. Like this really isn't all that it's made out to be. And once you start seeing that, once you start waking up, 
not drinking just becomes a choice. It becomes a decision. Like, why would I want to do that? If all of the things that I thought about alcohol were actually false, and all this is, is, is this toxic chemical, this drug, why would I even want to drink that in the first place, right? That's where we want to get you to. Now, this takes time, right? This takes time. It's what I help people do in my coaching program, right? But you can do this without my coaching program. It's just going to take you a bit longer, right? Because it's going to take you time to uncover those beliefs, to work through them, to research, to read, etc., etc. But once you do that, stopping drinking becomes a joy. Now, I have made other videos talking a bit more in depth about this. If you click the link in the description, there's actually a training video that shows you how to use this. But it's a really, really important thing to get your head around. It's to be able to check out your beliefs, break them down to first principles, and really just change them. Now, once you've done that, the most important thing is to get busy with a vision. Now, how many of us try to stop drinking alcohol and literally do nothing? We just say, ah, I'm going to stop drinking. Change nothing about our life. We don't do anything. How many times have you done that? I've done that. You know, everybody does that. Now, the difference here with creating a vision is because what most people do when they try to stop drinking alcohol is they're moving away from pain, right? They're moving away from this thing that is not helping. And once they get rid of the pain, right? Once they've removed themselves and there's been a period of time, let's say like a month or a few weeks or even a few years, once the pain has subsided and all the problems that the pain has caused have gone away, that's when people start justifying adding alcohol back into their life. They start saying, Hmm, yeah, you know, it's not causing any pain anymore. You know, maybe I can go back to moderation this time, etc., etc. Now, rather than running away from the problem, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, right? Like it's, it's fine to do that. You need to combine this with a towards goal, right? Something for you to work towards. Better health, you know, a great family life, a great business, whatever it is. Getting a vision to go towards will get you through those hard times after the pain has subsided. So in a year from now, two years from now, if you've got this amazing vision for your life that you're working towards and slowly building, and you've got, gotten away from the pain, you still have something to work towards rather than just removing the pain, changing nothing, and then getting back into that cycle again. This is critical. I think it's the most important thing, right? It's, it's easy to do this stuff, right? It just takes a bit of time, you know, reading, studying, writing it down. It just takes time. Whereas this, this is for the rest of your life. This is, this is ongoing. So rather than making trying to not drink the future of your life, you know, the, the, the focus of your life, you create a vision. And that's exciting because the sky really is the limit. And it really leads into the fifth secret. And it's that life does not get worse, right? Life gets 100 times better without alcohol. So many of us think that when we remove alcohol, we're going to be in a worse position, right? Life is not going to be as good. This is just not the case. I know this is not the case because I have not drank for four years and life is not 100 times better. It's 500 times better, right? And this is what I've seen through time and time again of people that I've worked with in the Sober Clear program. I see you guys leaving comments down below these videos all the time talking about all the amazing things that are happening just because you got rid of alcohol. In fact, there was a guy that I worked with recently called Colin. I'll put the uh, link to his interview up here, but he changed really not much and lost like 20, 30 pounds, like in, in, in three months. It was insane. The picture, the transformation was unbelievable. And I see this all the time because life doesn't get worse. It gets better. Now, if you want to apply for the Sober Clear program, then click the link in the description. You can book a call, uh, fill in like a few questions, and then you and I can jump on a call and see if working together could be a good match. And if you click the video on the screen now, you can actually watch Colin's story. It's awesome. Check that out.